Well, we're in Buffalo, but I uh, wanted to bring in Andrew Mangiapane and talk a little bit about a uh, new program that's going to start in Calgary. It was announced yesterday, Mange's Breadsticks, and a uh, really cool initiative that's going to help uh, get some youth. Maybe I'll let you, in, you know, describe it a little bit better than I do, but um, you know, I think kind of a really cool way of kind of giving back to the community. How did you think of it, you and your fiancé, Claudia? Yeah, um, yeah, we were thinking about doing something kind of in the community for a while now. Um, it's always kind of been popping up, and we decided, you know, what better way to kind of Give back to the community by you know teaching kids kind of how to play ball, uh, hockey, right? And, um, you know, so we're giving back to the you know some kids are kind of less fortunate and all that. So it's a great way that you know sometimes they don't have enough uh, money or can't cut, get out to the game or anything like that. So it's a good way for me to kind of give back and just kind of teach the sport that you know that, that I love and that's given me so much. I loved uh, a couple of lines there in the press release, but one talked about underdog. And, um, you know, just because you're an underdog doesn't mean, you know, there isn't a way forward. Um, you know, how much has that fueled you in your life? And, and how much are you hoping to kind of pass that along to some of these kids? Yeah, um, I was a big kind of underdog kind of making it to the NHL. I don't think uh, many people believed in me, but um, you just need a couple, right? You just need one person kind of believing in you. and just one uh, person kind of giving you the chance, right? And that's what uh, how my kind of story came to be, is I uh, happened to get, you know, just a chance in the kind of OHL to kind of jumpstart my career, and that's uh, kind of a way that I look at it for, for these kids here, right? It's a way for them to kind of learn the sport, learn the game, and just kind of get out there and have fun, right? So it's a... Uh, it's a great program, and I'm excited to kind of get it started. Well, I think uh, making your first public appearance on the 25th, so when we get back from the road trip, um, you know, how much are you looking forward to being able to work a little hands-on and have some of the conversations, maybe just some laughs with these kids too? Yeah, it's going to be a great time, right? I'm excited. Like you said, it's a uh, grand opening's the 25th, so I can't wait just to get out there and have some fun with the kids and maybe teach them a thing or two or them teach me a thing or two. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And uh, how about your wife or your fiance, soon to be wife, uh, Claudia, and just how much uh, she's a part of this process, obviously, and just um, you know how excited she is to be uh, have maybe something hands on in the community like this, too. Yeah, she's been great. Uh, she's been kind of you know helping out with uh, the Flames Foundation as well, and uh, they're communicating back and forth. So sometimes my schedule can kind of get a little busy and all that so that's where kind of she steps in and kind of figures out the, the little things and the just of it so she's been uh, awesome and uh, happy that she's helping as well well congrats on the program and uh, all the best uh, making it happen moving forward yes thank you appreciate it Monge's breadsticks